Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel where the fun never ends of Mandela Effects. Welcome back after a nice Christmas. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. And um, so I wanted to talk about this thing, this episode that's going to be airing January 24th on the X-Files. Uh, on It looks like on Fox. Um, so season 11, episode 4. Uh, 4 times 11, 44. Okay, remember that one. Uh, the Lost Art of Forehead Sweat. Um, written and directed by Darren Morgan, which I'm trying to get a hold of him now to see if we can set up some sort of an interview. Okay, that would be great. Um, the episode explores the idea of the Mandel Effect in which large it says large groups of people remember an alternate history. Mulder and Scully find out how the X-Files themselves may have originated. So... I'm really hoping here that they give an unbiased opinion toward the Mandel Effectians, you know, us who are affected. Um, I believe everybody is affected to to some degree. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because, uh, you know, there there are certain like things like like I know like my mom and my dad they're not affected on, but there are other things that they're affected on that we have commonality with. You know, I believe we all are affected on some degree. So, um, Teresa is here. She found me. Hey, Teresa. She found me. Hey, how you doing, Brian? Hey, good. She found me um, a, a little bit better description. The Lost Art of Forehead Sweat, as you might be able to guess, is from the writer-director Darren Morgan. The episode explores the idea of the Mandela Effect, which large groups of people remember an alternate history. So yeah, um, but but this one actually tells you who's going to be in it. So comedian Brian Husky guest stars. Okay, um, if we look, Darren Morgan, um, uh, I had to research him a little bit to see what his a little bit to see what his uh, filmography is, what he's written in the past. Uh, looks like okay, X Files. Uh, let's see, 20, 2018 X Files. So he hasn't he hasn't ever done the X Files, but he has done the Fringe, Fringe TV series. He was a consulting yeah, yes. That had to do with an alternate. It had to do yeah. with alternate dimensions and stuff like that. That that kind of gets my attention because uh, Fringe was good. Bionic Woman, that's a good one. Um, again, consulting producer, but this time he's going to be a director. Uh of the X-Files, so that'll be great. Um, this is a description in this in this video here. Okay, um, it's called The X-Files Review. The truth is here. The new season's good. So, it talks a little bit about that fourth episode. It said, just wait until episode four, The Lost Art of Forehead Sweat Airs. It is, it's a Darren Morgan offering and that means it's truly bizarre in the best way possible. The, the episode may or may not include the phrase leprechaun taint and several mentions of the Shaquille O'Neal flick Kazam. Need I say yeah. more? Now, it should be Shazam with the other guy. Um, well, this specific episode also tackles new times we live in, the era of fake news, President Donald Trump's presence is felt throughout the episodes, and his stance on the FBI is widely used on the show's advantage, or to the show's advantage. So now Mulder and Scully are federal agents on the outs for other reasons besides being assigned to the X-Files. So I think this is going to be a great episode, guys. Um, I really hope it is. Um, January 24th, so keep that in mind. Now I did come across some things here, and I, I wanted to send him a message, um, which I was going to get you guys' opinion before I hit the reply button here. Um, I said, hey, I'd like to set up an interview with Darren Morgan since I'm literally waist deep in the Mandel effect. <laughs> I have over 1,100 videos uploaded to YouTube and the, and the changes don't seem to stop occurring. I've been four times, I had to shorten that up a bit so it sounds countrified, but I said I've been four times on national radio, Mandel effect awareness at gmail.com is my email. So I hit reply, there you go. So now it's up on social media. And this is a little tidbit that Teresa found. Um, Jillian Anderson, David Duchovny, um, X-Files Season 11. Here we go. This, this is really it. is comfort that people used to get from the show. And in attempting to 
recreate the elements of that comfort, I think, is potentially heading more towards something being successful than if we're trying to do something completely different. David, pretty confident Mulder and Scully 2.0 are worth tuning in for. I think we're both better at what we do than when we started. The X-Files getting started again January 3rd on Fox. January 3rd on Fox. So that's when the first episode One hits the floor. extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell. And never on it. Fox? What's that? What's that, Teresa? On Fox TV, you said? Uh, Fox. On Fox? Yeah. So tune in to Perfect. Fox on that specific Perfect. day. We're going to see what this episode is really about. Um, guys, I'm, I'm hoping... They get more people interested in the effect because obviously there is a big turnoff when it comes to talking about this stuff. So, um, I think it's going to wake Godspeed. people up, Brian. What? Brian? What? I think it's going to wake people up. I think so too. I think so too. Um, really looking forward You're to like, it. Oh my God. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, have a great Mandela Effect night and God bless. I really think it's going to wake people up, Brian.